Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 60 and uh, we are going to work on the user dashboard. Okay, in our previous video, we have uh, created the functionality that how we can, how can student mark the course as a favorite. Okay, uh, let me do one thing. I need to start the server. Uh, okay, so and here also, right. So, <coughs> okay just a moment mm, okay it's starting and here we are no need to open the another browser i mean another thing okay so when we are clicking here it's uh, working and uh, if i click on this this course has been added in our favorite list now what we need to do we need to do uh, when user login and go to the dashboard and go to the favorite course uh, then it should show the favorite course list right so here the name of the course and uh, teacher name and uh, uh, we don't need to create any action when uh, we just give the link and if he want to remove the course then he can click on that and remove that course right so let's fetch the uh, courses for the student uh, favorite course so here uh, let's open the uh, we don't need this to open like this so we will go to this and uh, let's go to user and in the user we need to go favorite course right so what we have done like a recommended courses right or like my courses we will fetch the favorite courses right so in the my courses I'll copy all the things and uh, just here we are favorite course and i'll just paste here and name it favorite course favorite course hmm? favorite courses not course favorite courses and here it will be so course data student id fetch uh, favorite courses right and we will show the favorite courses and here it will be favorite courses right and name created by yes this is fine okay now we need to create this function so let's go to the url and we just uh, fetch 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 enroll courses and we will copy this and paste it here fetch favorite courses and we are passing the student id so here we will pass here the set favorite course and let's go to um, let's go to fetch favorite course function here right so here we are in the view where it is hmm? why this is not finding the okay oh sorry sorry we need to find the enroll courses so here we have enroll courses and if the student id is uh, here so what i will do i will copy this right and uh, in the in the favorite uh, course list right so what i will do i just need to copy this query set okay so in the favorite course list i will paste here and let's remove all other things we just need to add if so if student id then student id is this student will get the data and we will student uh, favorite course object filter distinct okay so let's go now and uh, see what we have so we have created the url uh, favorite course and uh, fetch favorite course and here we are course list and in the course list we are fetching the data and in the favorite course we are fetching okay so let's see oh here we are okay so can you see that this is our favorite course list okay so let's go in the new page and click on uh, this Django and let's click on this and if I refresh this again then it will show the two Django courses and this is Django and this is a uh, teacher detail when you click on this you can go to the teacher detail 
right and when you click on this Django you will go to the uh, here we are right so we have uh, completed this uh, favorite course section now uh, I will uh, we need to I am going to in the next video we will work on the assignment okay so teacher can assign teacher can add the assignment for their student for their enrolled students right like if I go to the teacher section right so here we have a teacher section so <coughs> teacher have a student list if I click on this student list there is student list I'll add a button and on this button uh, they can assign the uh, assignment they can add the assignment and a student can get the assignment and uh, he can uh, you know he can upload the things and he can do the things and uh, uh, teacher can see that uh, what things has been uploaded via the student right so we will do in the next video okay so thank you so much for watching this video and uh, let's meet in the next video and please don't forget to subscribe and uh, join this uh, channel and follow me on the github there is uh, instagram facebook and uh, support me via reserve your paypal so thank you so much for watching this video thank you